Today I'm showing my uh, Fire tablet that's running Android 10. And today uh, I wanted to check my uh, battery health on iPhones. It's pretty easy to check your battery health. Not so easy on iPads. But Android tablets, as well as Android phones, there, there isn't a really easy setting that you can go to to check your battery health. You can only know what your current battery percentage life is. But one um, battery app that I ran into that was rec recommended to me by uh, Slick Dealers on Slick Deals was uh, this app called AccuBattery. Um, on Slick Deals, a lot of people buy refurbished, used, and open box phones. And this is the app that they recommend you installing. Uh, yes. So when you install it, it'll take you to this AccuBattery uh, page, probably discharging over here or charging. Uh, so if you want to see what's going on with your charging when it's hooked up to the charger, I can show you right now. I'm going to plug it into the charger. Um, you'll see, it'll tell you what your current charge is and temperature and voltage. So it's kind of helpful. Right now it's not charging that fast because I'm using an old Motorola phone charger. And it gives you other stats like uh, battery wear and whatnot. Uh, the main reason I would suggest using AccuBattery is it can estimate your battery health, which is something that it's hard to uh, find a good battery app that will give you this. So the very bo bottom is a set, uh, an option called health. Click on health. And typically uh, for health, it, it's blank when you first install the app. So if it's blank, it's normal actually. Uh, you have to run at least probably one charging cycle of around like five to 10% and it'll estimate what the battery health is. If you want a good batter, uh, battery health estimate, you should uh, probably do it around, I'm, I'm not an expert, but uh, I have this installed on my Pixel 3 phone. After around seven to 10 charging cycles, it was giving me a reading that I thought was pretty ac accurate because I'd actually gone into the debug page and sent myself a debug report. And I'd seen what my battery capacity was like uh, through there. And I think that one's the most accurate, but uh, you can see over here, after like nine months of owning this tablet, it's showing 98% battery life, which seems to be correct in my opinion, because I don't use this tablet a whole lot. So again, the main reason why I'm making this video is, first of all, if you want to check your Android battery health, you should go, especially a Fire tablet, you should, I think you, you could use AccuBattery. If there's something better, let me know. Uh, to use it, install it, click on health, and if it's blank, it just means that uh, it doesn't have enough data to estimate your battery life, battery health, and what you'll do is just use it like normal and charge it 8 to 10 times, and then it'll probably give you a pretty accurate reading. This is with only four charges, and I think it's pretty accurate, but I have other devices where it took me my like my pixel 3 3a took me at least eight to ten charges to get an accurate reading uh, and also last thing i'm going to show is if you want to possibly uh, reset the battery app so i'm going to go here under try to find my apps if possible Hopefully it's under apps. Go under AccuBattery. So one thing I can go into is storage and then clear the storage and then I'll reset AccuBattery for me. I, you could also delete the app and reinstall the app. But if you want to reset AccuBattery, just find apps. This is for a Fire tablet. Select AccuBattery. Go into storage, and then and we're gonna clear storage. And click OK. So now when I go into AccuBattery, it's gonna be like new again.
It says, please disconnect charger for calibration. I'm going to disconnect it. It's calibrated. Go back. Whoops. So this loads up, and now I can plug in so it can charge. And as I mentioned before, if you click on health here on the bottom, it won't show you any battery health information. You have to let it charge at least once to estimate what your battery health is. And as I, from my own little experience, I think you should let it do at least, at the very minimum, four charges, four charge cycles. But I think you'll get a pretty accurate one after eight to ten. And of course, I can see go to charging over here in the bottom left and I can see that it's charging okay not the quickest and so it's definitely something that's nice to use if you're gonna buy a used phone or buy something used like a used tablet or open box or even new 